Hi guys, Steve Blanker here again. Hey, I wanted to revisit the Remington split breech carbine. Uh, you know, I did a video not long ago on this, and some of you noticed that uh, I was getting some blowback uh, when I was firing it. And I wanted to explain a little bit about what, what you're seeing and what I've, what I've learned since then. I've been in the range five, four or five times with this carbine. Those first loads I was using for the, the offset primer, which I make, it's basically it's a 22 blank. And I was using starter pistol blanks for those first ones. And those, a few of those were perforating. And when the hammer hit it, they were getting a hole in them and blowing back out through that hole. And I've since switched to power tool ram sets which are you know, sold at Lowe's and Home Depot for power tools. And I've tried several different things, but I found these, these ramp sets are tougher and I have had no perforations since I started using those. Now I did some, I used brown ramp sets with the smokeless powder, kind of as a duplex charge really, uh, with black powder. But I was getting velocities, uh, you know, 900 to over a thousand feet per second, which was uh, kind of on the high side, more than I really wanted. Now when Springfield Armory did their testing of the 5650 cartridge, they found they were getting a velocity about 900 feet per second out of the carbine and then about 1,000 on the rifles. So I don't want to go any, certainly don't want to go any higher than that. So I started taking those ram sets and I was clipping the nose off of them and dumping out that smokeless powder charge and just using the primer itself. And uh, I've had good luck with that. Uh, I've been in the range at least three or four times now using the ram sets and I've had no perforations. Uh, so it's, it's a lot better now. Um, Today I'm out here, uh, the load I'm testing is 34.5 grains of Schutzen number no. 2 black powder uh, with the RAM sets. So uh, they've been shooting really good. I'm getting around 700 feet per second. So it's certainly lower than uh, what Springfield Armory uh, had in, their, in the originals. But of course those are rimfire and they held, uh, I think it was a full 45 grains of powder where I've got you know 34 and a half grains here, so considerably less. But I'm fine with that. I don't need to, to push this to the limit. This thing's over 150 years old. It's fun to shoot like it is, and I'm, I don't need to have, you know, get up to, to max velocity. So I'm pretty happy shooting this. So uh, let's go ahead and take a few shots. Put my ears on here. Now I have to orient the primer at the 12 o'clock position, which is easy enough to do. one and you notice even with this somewhat reduced charge it's still got some kick to it it's a uh, yeah it's pretty powerful it's a 350 grain rapine bullet which i really like because it has a real large lube groove that's two and let's do one more All right, it's three shots. Shoots really nicely. They extract well. Uh, they're easy to reload. Uh, they're really no harder to reload than a centerfire round. Uh, the key is just getting getting the, the routine down to make the cases. Uh, and you can buy those cases now. Um, you know, there's a couple companies that, that make them. Well, at least one now. Uh, so you can get you can get those. This Roberson Cartridge Company makes them. Uh, again, I make these from uh, Starline 5650 centerfire brass. And if you look on my YouTube channel and my playlist, there's a two-part video that explains step-by-step -step how I convert these centerfire cases to rimfire. And they work quite well. So, well, I hope you enjoyed that. I uh, just wanted to give you an update, show you that it shoots really good now, and uh, I'm really happy with this load. So this is probably going to be my go-to load of this, for this carbine from now on. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please, please like it and uh, subscribe to my channel, and I'll have more videos coming out soon. Thanks. Bye.